Hey everyone, this is Stephen from Martech Wiz. In this video, we're going to look at Entrepages, which is a landing page builder. Um, it's different from a lot of the landing page builders you've probably seen. It's what we call a page block system, and we'll go into exactly what that is later in the video. Um, we happen to really fall in love with this tool. Uh, it just uh, It's extremely easy to use. It is the design of the templates is uh, really stunning and um, the price uh, really can't be beat in terms of a SaaS and we'll get into all of that throughout the review. Um, this came in at number two as the best landing page tool based on the test that we did. Uh, we looked at over 20 different landing page tools. We ended up ranking over 15, the most relevant ones. And this came in with a score of 8.75 out of 10, so um, a very, very good score. But first, you should know this video is only a small part of a massive project that we did on landing page builders. We conducted tests on over 15 landing page tools and did some really rigorous analysis on 50 different factors. So you can find the full rankings, see who's number one, see what tool you're considering buying, where they landed, and in-depth reviews on all the landing page builders we looked at all with video and this is on the Martech Wiz site. So just click on the link on screen here or the link in the description and not only will you get that full analysis there you can also obtain a free PDF buying guide. This encapsulates all of the most important nuggets that we learned throughout this long project and we wanted to pass them along to you and we think you'll really like them a lot. So uh, going into the dashboard, you can see the dashboard is extremely um, clean, extremely minimalistic. You have your contacts here where they go to after they fill out a form if you're not connected to an email provider yet. And then you simply have pages and forms. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new landing page. So uh, this screen will bring up all the different templates. As you can see, the design is just beautiful. I mean, very visually pleasing, great, um, great images, great colors, great layout. And that's what really struck us first in terms of Entrepages was the design of the templates. Um, there's over 40 of them. And uh, let's go ahead and show you uh, one in depth. Let's go ahead and pick this one. And premium just means um, going to the paid plan, which is only $15 a month. And we'll get into the prices more. Um, so most of them you can use on the free plan as well. Um, so here is the editor. It's a fine editor. Um, a small gripe is that we think that they could make this a little bit more of a, not full screen, but a fuller screen. Um, get rid of this sidebar, maybe uh, expand this out. So then you'd get more of the canvas and the landing page itself more visible. Um, other than that, we like the uh, editor a lot. So let's go ahead and name this and I'll uh, show you what you can do. So basically, what is a page block system? You'll see here that there aren't individual elements. So typically you can add an image, you can add a form, you can add a video to a template. This is based on a completely new type of system called page blocks. So for example, say you don't like this text area. You can just click next and scroll through several different types of text areas that are built to be compatible with the rest of the page. So it's just an extremely easy way, an efficient way to make your own customizations and personalizations um, without having to worry about all the code. So that said, you're not going to have you know the, drop and the drag and drop capabilities that you will have in those type of editors, we didn't feel like that was too much of a burden since you ha have so many options to pick. Um, also, if you go down to like a page like this where you have mul or a section like this, you will have the option to turn off different things. So if you don't want this um, subheader, you know, you can just click that off. Um, and with every section, you can scroll through. So let's go ahead and pick this one. 
actually I want to pick a different one with a button. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, choose this one that has a button. And uh, just see the rest of the page. So this block I maybe don't think is necessary. So you can always delete a block. And uh, this is a testimonial section. So this is something that I don't think this really fits my page. I want something a little bigger. So let's go to this testimonial with pictures, um, a team block, an order form, a footer. And then you see in the free version, they have this entre pages ad, they call it. Um, the branding, I think, is extremely minimal for uh, a free tool and a, and, a, and a tool of this stature. Let's get rid of this uh, footer, though. Um, but really, that's the only thing you have to deal with in terms of branding. Um, then you have the form. So, what are some other things that we can do? Now, this is a premium form, so if, if you're on the free plan, you this is a premium block. So, if you really like this design, you can still use this page. You're just going to have to delete the block here. And then you can save it. So, it's not going to let me save it because you're trying to save a page. Uh, with blocks that are premium. Um, but if you delete this, no problem. But I want to keep it in because we can still preview the page with it on. In addition to that, you can also add a block. So if you click the add, it will give you a bunch of different options, whether it's a banner, a call out, etc. Kind of going down the line. So really, really nice, uh, nice options here if. Um, you can't find something that's that kind of fits your style. You can also do that. Um, in addition, you can also they have really good uh, forms, and what you can do is you can create a two-step opt-in form, which is a very powerful form. So we're going to do that now. But to get you a sense of what is not a two-step opt-in form, that's this. So these opt-in forms that are the form is directly on the page um, have been known to convert less than if you put a button on the page and then have the button pull out a form itself and it also is cleaner for design so let's go ahead and do that with this and we can show you how easy it is so if we edit the button um, you can obviously make all the color and font choices that you want to make changes but you can link out to any URL like any other um, tool could do, but you can also link out to a light box, and that's what we're going to do. So a light box is going to um, pull up and pull up a form that we created before in this form section, and we'll show you that. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview this and uh, see how that looks. So you see there, it works very well. Um, you just click on the button and it opens up the form and you can change this form. In fact, let's go ahead and show you how to, how to change forms. So let's switch from the page over uh, to the form. You can preview them, select them, and let me show you something cool about the forms as well. Let's select this one. The cool thing about the forms, you can also scroll through different uh, templates on the form as well. So what I don't kind of get is not all these uh, pop-ups even have forms. A pop-up doesn't necessarily need to be a form. Um, but if you're obviously trying to uh, capture leads, then you're going to need one that has a form. All right, so anyway, let's just go with this one. We know it has a form, and how is this going to work? There's a lot of different options. Some of them, sometimes they give you different blocks that don't really make sense. Um, <laughs> but you can just kind of skip through those. Like the example we just saw, I don't know why it would give us uh, this kind of, I don't even know what that is. Um, so anyway, you still have a lot of different options um, in terms of changing the forms. Uh, you can change the colors here, the width, you know, the basic stuff, border, background. Um, you can 
pick what you want to do with the form. Uh, so that's a really nice thing. You can which landing page. You can even send it to another light box. I'm not sure of a use case for that, but I'm sure there's some people who would want to do that. You can make uh, some basic changes over here, turn things off, turn them on. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a lot of different options, so you can most likely end up with a form that you are interested in. If we go over to the settings, you'll see some of the granularity and some of the nice options that you can have with the light boxes, and you can also have a form um, become activated on exit intent. But you can select the different positioning, um, how, how far they have to scroll down the page to activate a pop-up, or based on how much time. So just tons of different options here. You have a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want those pop-ups to um, act on your page. So that gives you a lot of control over it. If you want to be less aggressive, more aggressive, um, in terms of how often they see it, you really are in control of all those different options. So it's a, a really great feature to have there. Then you can upload a custom favicon here, which is the icon that goes on the tab. Put in the so-called SEO settings, um, the meta description and page title. So what are the important features, things that it has? The, not the notable features are A-B testing, as we mentioned, exit pop-ups, lightbox pop-ups, which allow you to do two-step pop-ups. And if you want to publish the page, they do have a WordPress plugin too. You'll have to be on the $15 a month plan. Um, they only have one paid plan, so you can't do that on the free pan plan. Um, and they also have, like we saw, a countdown timer. And that's a dynamic countdown timer, so that can actually take certain actions based on when it hits zero. You can redirect it. I think you can put up a message. And one of the other things I want to show you is the photo editor that is available. Um, the photo area, the photo editor is very powerful and one we haven't seen anything like. So let's take for example you want to switch out this picture. So you can just edit it, change it, and let's select this picture instead. Now if you hit this little paintbrush here, this will launch a whole um, suite of different editing options. So, you know, some of these are a little a little more on the fun side if you want to do that for stickers. Just a lot of different options. Um, different effects if you want different lenses, which I'm sure most people probably wouldn't need this, but there are some nice touches. Like one I've used in the past is the vignette. No, it's the overlay. So the overlay has some really nice features. Um, some things like this, you can put them on top of your picture. And one thing that I have noticed, sometimes the photo editor is a little buggy, like our picture just got lost. So let's try that again. So photo editing in general is pretty labor, is pretty kind of computer intensive. So it still shouldn't have bugs, but you know, as long as it works uh, after one or two tries, personally I'm fine with that, considering it's such a such a kind of heavy feature. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, overlay, save it, and then get out of here. Now it loads in, and you have the picture. Um, so you can't move items, and you can't you can't also size them um, that I know of. Maybe you actually you can crop them in the photo editor, but not in editor, the regular editor itself. What are some things that we would like to see, some things that are missing in Entrepages? Well, one is digital asset management. So it would be nice if we could have an option where after they click on a button to subscribe, that instead of being sent to a page or even to a light box to be given a digital asset like an ebook, where they could download that and that could be available to them after they sign up. Um, you cannot publish this to as a Facebook page, which is a lot, uh, option in several different landing page tools. So if you want to do that, you can't. Uh, there's no custom fonts, so you kind of 
stuck with the fonts that are here, but they're designed specifically for the page, so we haven't found that to be a big issue because they look so nice, we don't like to mess with them. Um, but if you really do want a lot of flexibility with the fonts, this is not going to be a tool for you. Then we would have liked to see an integration with Zapier. Um, that connect can connect you up to 500 different apps, but they do not have that integration in Entre Pages. Um, so in terms of the publishing options, basically you can publish through um, either a subdomain or you can choose your own domain or you can, like I said, go through the WordPress plugin, which is probably the easiest way if you do have a uh, WordPress site. So let's talk about the plans. The free plan is really quite a deal, and now I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you know uh, you're really tight on budget, um, because there are some downsides. But for a free plan, it's excellent. So what are the limitations of the free plan? Um, it prevents you from publishing to a custom domain. There's no A/B testing, no email integration. So any subscribers you get will be sent to the dashboard, and you'll have to export them out. And you will have that entreport entre branding on both forms and the page. And a few blocks like we saw, like countdown timers, are going to be off limits. Of course, if you get the paid plan, you get all of that. And the paid plan is one of the best deals in the landing page market right now. $15 per month for all of this is a fabulous deal. You get uh, 25,000 visitors, 25 pages. Um, 10 entre forms. Um, you can hook it up, they say, to any third party email or CRM system, and then you have split testing, so you have that A B testing as well. But if you're really like it, then you can go ahead and upgrade to 99 per year. I mean, that comes out to $8.25 a month. You save 45% uh, over the regular month to month. Um, and that's just an amazing deal. Really one of the best values in terms of the SaaS tools on this list. And then complete package. This is talking about if you want to upgrade to Entreport, and that's a full marketing automation. That's the parent company that has uh, created Entrepages if you're not familiar with them. Entrepages is just an excellent, excellent uh, choice in the landing page market. A much different type of tool. Um, it's got great designs, really easy to use, and that's why we ranked it an 8.75 out of 10. It came in second out of more than 20 tools that we looked at, so that's saying a lot right there. And we ended up doing reviews on more than 15 of the most relevant of those. So you can check out those other reviews um, with the link here and see which was number one, maybe which was number three. Now, I should note that actually three different tools got an 8.75, so it was really almost a tie for first, but due to the tie-breaking methodology that we use, we ended up giving the second spot to Entrepages, the first spot went to uh, a tool called Landing Eye, and then the third is the Thrive Leads and the Thrive Landing Page Suite. Also on the site, if you want a buying guide, we can provide a free of charge buying guide that, down, that basically goes over all the different factors that are most important in a landing page tool and some other bonus tools as well. Um, and you can grab that free at my website if you're interested. So again, this is Stephen from MarTechWiz. Thank you for watching and have a great day.